<laughs> What's up? How you doing, YouTube man? It's been a little while. We're gonna do some beer reviews. Here we go. We got two reviews coming to you. Okay, this is gonna be a, a two fur. All right, two fur. All right, since it's been a little while. Saving the best for last. We're gonna do the Abita Pecan Harvest Ale first. I've never had this one. I had the uh, out of the Harvest series. I think I've had the uh, strawberry. Um, maybe that's it. <clears throat> um, and the best for last, man, Rita Nation, Cran Burrita. <laughs> yes, man. So we're going to save that, the best for last. You know what I'm saying? All right? Because, you know, I know everybody's uh, uh, sitting on the edge of their seat waiting to see what that one's all about. You know what I'm saying? Because, uh, you know, hey, it's it's another Rita. You know what I'm saying? Uh, hello? <laughs> Okay, man. Anyway, let's go back to Louisiana here. I got a beer glass, okay? Um, I do have some information. We're going to do all this live, brother. Let's see. The only thing I, I don't have is an emergency towel, so here we go, all right? Um, I'm pretty sure Beta still has uh, pry caps. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're not twist caps. Little information about this beer before I do open it. Uh, bah, bah, bah. Let's see. Okay, five point. This is right off of Abita's website. <clears throat> uh, five point one ABV. <clears throat> excuse me. Um, IBUs are twenty. The color is nineteen. Um, and you know they even give the uh, nutrition facts here. So they, they plenty of nutrition facts. They give a. Uh, it's one hundred forty, one hundred fifty calories uh, per bottle. And uh, the carbs is 11 grams. Uh, protein is 2.6 grams. Yeah. And uh, no fat. <laughs> this is like no fat, bro. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. You know what I'm saying? For all you that's worried about your figure and all that, this is no fat. <laughs> so how can you go wrong with that, right? No, really, don't, don't, man, don't believe any of that. But uh, it, that's what it says. <laughs> it does say no fat grams, man. So this is like, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, drink up. <laughs> okay. Uh, for me, uh, I didn't, you know, I didn't realize that Total Wine, I could order stuff. I had no idea that I could order, like, put together a cart and then just pick it up. And anyway. It did run me five ninety nine a six. Uh, so just to give you an idea in your area, it, it I, I bought it because it was a beat is pretty cheap in my area. So um, that I don't mind buying a beat. Uh, it's it's a in a pretty inexpensive beer for what you get. Um, and I know that they've upgraded their brewery uh, and they're putting out there was. Where was that information that I seen? Um, let's see, they've they've upgraded. Okay, so they're able to fill. Uh, okay, they used to be able to fill 150 bottles per minute. Now that they've upgraded their brewery, they can fill 400 bottles per minute. So. That's an incredible rate for a craft brewery. So, uh, 400 bottles a minute, man. That is, wow. That is that is crazy. So, um, they can accommodate 500 barrels at their brewery. So, hey, man, hats off to uh, to Abita. They're doing fantastic. That's good. That's better for us too, because that means they have more capacity to make more beer. So, let's get to it, man. Let's see. Hopefully we don't have a beer emergency. Oh, little smoke, not not too bad, you know. For for kind of the first review in a while, you know what I'm saying. I'm using my uh, Albuquerque Hop Fest glass uh, from the old Hard Rock. I still I still have a little bit left in here, so um, I'm I'm able to refill a little bit. I just didn't want to take it all the way to the top. I love that head though, man. Look at that head and look at that color. That color is beautiful. It's classified as an American brown ale. So I'm expecting a real kind of, you know, with it being a multi, I mean, a, a, a brown ale, I'm expecting a real nice sweet maltiness, especially with that 20 IBUs, not really 
it's really just to preserve the beer at that point. Um, but when you look at the top of this head, it is nice and creamy. The sides look a lot like a, a sponge or something, you know, uh, kind of real big bubbles in that head. I don't know if you can see the detail on that, but uh, it is going down pretty quick. But there is a nice... You know, I, I would imagine a pecan would give, and it, they're using real Louisiana pecans. Uh, New Mexico is kind of a big pecan state as well. We make a lot of pecans here. Um, but in any case, I, a pecan is more of a subtle nut, right? Like, so I would expect it to be um, nutty, but not uh, like some of your more harsher nuts, you know? <laughs> Dude, that just sounds messed up. But in any case, hmm. Not bad, you know what I'm saying. Um, it's good. the carbonation kind of hits you. It's got like a, a lot of carbonation, I would say. Um, it's a really sweet, really mellow beer. It's a, uh, <clears throat> it's not bad. It's a sessionable beer, I would say. Um, you know, nothing spectacular. Um, I'm not. I'm, I'm getting a nuttiness, but uh, it could be any mild nut, really. It could be. A walnut or anything like that, I suppose. It's it smells um, really roasty, but that could also be the malts that they used. Uh, it's it's really hard for me personally to to pick out the pecan in there. I do get a nuttiness to it and a breadiness to it, um, but I'm not getting like specifically. A pecan pie type of taste. It's not sweet like that. You know what I'm saying? Like we always compare pumpkin beers to pumpkin pie <clears throat> or just plain pumpkin. Um, I'm not getting a particular pecan. Like I wouldn't, if you didn't know this was pecan, uh, a pecan flavored beer and you drank it, would you be able to tell? Me personally, no. I, I would be able to tell it's a, it's a lighter type of brown ale, but. <clears throat> No charge, but uh, I wouldn't be able to necessarily pick out that it's a pecan beer. You know what I'm saying? But it's a damn good beer, and for five ninety nine, bro, <clears throat> for a good craft beer, um, you can't beat this. I mean, this is a good pick it up. It's a good seasonal to pick up and enjoy on your own. You know, if you're doing some yard work, you know what I'm saying. It's kind of lighter like that, and it's sessionable enough where you could introduce non-craft beer people to this. You know what I'm saying? Uh, use this beer as the gateway. Um, it's that type of beer, you know? Mm. It's damn good. You know what I'm saying? I drink this all day. Uh, I'd definitely give it a one thumb. You know what I'm saying? A bing. <laughs> right? I'd give it a one thumb. It, it, <clears throat> It's not quite a two thumb beer, but it's a really good beer. I'd buy this again. I'm telling, especially for five ninety nine, for six bucks. There ain't too many craft beers you can pick up for six bucks a six. So, you know, hey, that's a dollar a beer right there for good craft beer. I know uh, my my pal uh, Barrick says that he typically makes beer for about seventy cents, seventy five cents a bottle. So. When you're when you're able to buy it at a buck a bottle, that's doing pretty damn good, you know. So I wouldn't compare it to perhaps his homemade uh, craft beer, but this is uh, this ain't bad, man. You know what I'm saying? It's a good sessionable beer. Just don't expect it to be up there one of the primos, okay? Let's let's see what. Uh, okay, um, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, beer Advocate is giving it. Uh, the bros have no score, but the BA score is 76 out of 674 reviews. So, um, yeah, they do say they used uh, real Louisiana pecans toasted and everything. So, um, I mean, you know, that's the, the old score would have been an A or B or C. That looks like a 76 would be probably a high C, maybe, or a low B. Um, so, yeah, you know, I could I could definitely go with that. Um, but you know, for that <clears throat> for that money, it's it's really not not bad at all. And I, I'm a big fan of Abita. 
I like Abita a lot, so, you know. Mm. So moving on, here we go. I've got my glass, okay, with ice, of course, because they suggest it's a margarita with a twist. All right, cran burrita. <laughs> yeah, the best for last right here. 8% ABV, does anything else matter, right? I think these are mostly for, you know, the, the Rita Nation is, uh, you know, mostly like when I went to the race this past weekend, um, there was a lot of Rita's there, lime Rita's mostly, um, but cranberry, I'm kind of looking forward to this. I think cranberry will be, a, I think it'll be a better flavor than the strawberry. I don't know many people that like the strawberry over the lime, um, but I think the cranberry might might be giving it a, a good run for its money here. <clears throat> I think this was a good choice. So they do suggest right here on the side of the can, serve it over ice. Try it over ice. So here we go. This is the little can, uh, eight ounce can that you get when you buy a 12 pack. Uh, what did I pay for the 12? I think it was 10 bucks for a 12, something like that. And I do have my artificial ice cubes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, they're little fake ice cubes, man. They look real, though. Huh? Look at that. Tight. I figure since they're using fake cranberries, I mean, that can't be real. Uh, it says a malt beverage with natural and artificial flavors. So I'm using artificial ice cubes. <laughs> right? Here we go, man. Nice. You always get good smoke out of a can. You know what I'm saying? We'll pour it straight up. Look at that color, man. Look at that. This is a premium malt beverage, my friend. A premium, a premium bread beverage, man. Don't don't let anyone from Rita Nation catch you saying otherwise because if you if you say anything otherwise for this beverage, this adult beverage, Rita Nation will come after you, man. I'm telling you. And Bud, you know, it, 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 Anheuser Busch, give me a call, man. We'll 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 settle our little dispute over this uh, Rita Nation stuff. You know what I'm saying? We can market this together. <laughs> okay, man. <clears throat> Dude, right away it's it's really sweet, right? Of course. I mean, what else would you expect? A really sweet smell. You definitely do get the cranberry. You know what I'm saying? Uh, ah. Dude, that's good, right? I mean, it's good. It really is. I swear to God. The cranberry is not overpowering or anything. You know what I'm saying? You definitely taste it. Mm. It, it does taste a lot like if you were having a uh, cranberry juice with, uh, you know, a little. It doesn't taste like a margarita. I don't get that at all. But uh, I do get a lot of that um, the Rita flavor from the other two Ritas that are out there. I do get a lot of that. Uh, same kind of back flavor in there. You know what I'm saying? Mm. It don't really taste like a margarita, but uh, it's good. I mean, I, I imagine a lot of uh, casual drinkers kind of liking this. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you know. that That is pretty good, man. I think it's all right. I'd definitely buy these again. You know what I'm saying? Uh... I think I still kind of prefer the lime, but now that there's three of them, I would put this a real close second uh, before the strawberry for sure. The strawberry is, to me, a little overpowering. It's a little strong. Like, it almost needs to be watered down a little bit, but don't worry, though, Rita Nation. I still I still, I still, still partake of these strawberritas. <laughs> okay. Um, but this, this is a good choice, I think, man, you know? I should have looked up the uh, the calories and everything. Um, unless they – oh, no, they have them right here on the can. Oi, if you've got a – let's see. <laughs> this is an 8-ounce can, mind you, okay? This was a 12-ounce beer, okay? And this is an 8 – this was 150 calories, and it was fat-free. Fat-free. Um, but it was 150 calories for that whole bottle. This is an eight ounce can, 197 calories. If you gotta ask, you can't afford it. <laughs> okay, you know what I'm saying? So look, uh, wow, that's that's a lot. Um, 
Yeah. Woo, if you were to get drunk off of these. But you know what? Once again, fat-free. That's what I'm talking about. Drink up! <laughs> this is a definite, if you got to have one, why not have six? You know what I'm saying? Screw it. If you're home like I am right now, have have a bunch. Screw it. Um, let me see. Uh, carbs are 23. There's only one gram of protein in there. Oy. Yeah, if you're uh, if you're watching your figure, uh, you know, you're one of those people who likes to work out and stuff. Uh, if if you were to get drunk on a bunch of these Ritas, uh, you have to work out a little harder. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That next day, man, or the next week, or whatever you do. Um, but this is pretty good, man. Especially for eight ounces, and it's kind of a lot. You wish you almost didn't look at it. You know what I'm saying? You're better off not knowing. You know. Um, but, hey, you know, if you're on vacation, live it up. Screw it. <coughs> when you, no charge. When you're on vacation, it's a well-known fact that calories do not count. I promise you. If you're on vacation, they, they, the calories do not count, I swear. They, they, they just, they go somewhere. They burn off. I don't know what happens, so enjoy. <laughs> okay, man. Thank you to everybody that was watching back there. Um... I definitely give the Rita two thumbs. I think it's a I think it's a darn good close, uh, uh, really close, like almost almost really up there with the with the Lime Rita, the original. Um, so as far as the Ritas go, I give it a two thumbs. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty good. I I don't hate on the Ritas, man. How do you hate on a cran burrito? <laughs> it almost sounds like burrito. You know what I'm saying? I wonder if that's a good pairing. What do you think? Anyway, um, the Abita Pecan Harvest, I give that a one thumb, okay? So, mm, I wouldn't suggest doing that. I'm kind of a semi-pro, so it's the only reason I could follow a brown ale uh, after a uh, Bud Light Rita. So, don't try that at home, okay? <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you later. Peace out. Thanks for tuning in.